Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sneha Shetty, Clinical Director, Chief Fertility Specialist, Laparoscopic Surgeon and Gynecologist, practicing here at Vriksh Fertility, HSR Layout, Bengaluru. Sperm abnormalities like low sperm count, low motility of sperms in the semen sample, this usually we diagnose by a very simple test called semen analysis. So semen analysis is a test to know the fertility status of the male partner. So usually we ask them to come with three to five days of abstinence. That is either they should not masturbate nor have sexual intercourse for about at least three days and maximum five days. So within this three to five days gap, usually they come and give their semen sample. So once the semen sample is collected in the fertility center, it is usually examined by an andrologist and a detailed report has been prepared. So we usually come to know about four important points. Firstly, it is the count. How many sperms are there in the sample, in the entire sample or how many sperms are there per ml of the sample. Number two, we come to know about the motility. Like sperms have to be motile. They have to be moving forward, swimming forward. So how many of them are progressive motility? That means how many are moving forward and how many are non-motile? That means which are not swimming, which are there itself or some some of them will be moving in and around itself. Non-progressive motility will be there. So in motility itself, we again have three categories. What is progressive, non-progressive and immotile sperms. Apart from this, the third point is how many are having normal morphology. The sperm has a head a middle piece which is the neck and a tail. So these three parts should be in good normal form. So at least 4% of the entire sample should have these normal morphological sperms. Number four is the semen sample should not be having any kind of infection. So if we see any pus cells or anything like that, even that will be mentioned in the report. So it is very important to do a semen analysis in a very good center, which is done by andrologists and not in a center wherein it is being done by local technicians and all. So if at all you have been diagnosed with low sperm count, my personal advice would be that repeat your semen analysis again with a proper abstinence in a good center to actually diagnose it properly and then take treatment accordingly. So foods that improve the sperm count or improve and enhance the overall health of the sperms are eggs, dark chocolates, green leafy vegetables. You can have fish which is very rich in omega-3 fatty acids and also have lots of nuts, especially walnuts. Along with all of these, staying hydrated is also very important and having good food alone is not going to drastically improve your sperm count. It is always going to help along with the medication and your fertility treatment. So uh, your fertility doctor is going to be your best guide in this regard.